Alliance. Thank you, Mr. Deputy President. And I too rise to take note of answers to questions uh, from us to particularly Senator Abetz on the disgraceful comments made by Mr. Hassel uh, from the WA Liberal, Parliament, uh, Liberal Party. And again, uh, Senator Abetz uh, just failed to reaffirm or answer our questions on whether the Prime Minister would repudiate the views of Mr Hassel and indeed the motion that's going to be put to the State Liberal Party, which says that we shouldn't recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in our constitution. And let me just take a few moments to um, spell out to people watching and listening the disgraceful comments, the racist comments that uh, have been made by, by Mr Hassel, where he says, and I quote, I don't think the Australian people will support it, however they dish it up and however much of our money they spend trying to jam it down our throats. He didn't stop there. He went on to say, this is a moving feast. Every time you deal with one issue, such as Aboriginal land rights through the Mabo decision, they're on to the next. How insulting. They're on to the next. Who does he mean there? Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. And he then goes on to say, with a new demand and a new claim. And in here today, the Abbott government absolutely failed, failed to really uh, put the Prime Minister's repudiation of those statements and those attitudes on the record. And significant numbers of senators in this place will attend that conference on the weekend and let's see how they vote on that issue. Because I can tell you, Mr Hassel's the number cruncher in WA and their pre-selections rely very heavily on Mr Hassel and others. But why should we be surprised about what Mr Hassel says? Because what is happening in Western Australia under the Barnett government to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders people is a national disgrace. Despite, despite uh, Senator Scullion coming into this place and bragging about his truancy uh, efforts in the Kimberley in Western Australia and how much they're getting kids back to school, well, yesterday the State Attorney General released a report of attendance at Western Australian schools. Every public school in Western Australia was measured against a similar report in 2009. Now, both of those reports span the period of the Barnett government. And do you know what it said? Not one single improvement. Not one single improvement. In fact, there's five schools in the Kimberley where there are truancy officers where 50 per cent 50 per cent of Aboriginal kids who make up almost 100 per cent of those schools are at severe risk. So despite Minister Scullion trying to tell us that somehow his truancy program is working, it is not. And who's saying that? The Liberal State Attorney General in Western Australia is saying the WA Education Department has no idea, no strategy and no programs on addressing truancy. And they are public reports both of them spanning the period of the Barnett government, because that racism pervades, that racism against Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people pervades through the Barnett government, led by Mr Hassel. But let's not stop there. Aboriginal incarceration rates, something I've spoken over and over again uh, in, this, in this place about. Aboriginal people are six times more likely uh, to commit suicide than non-Aboriginal people. Where? Where do you think that might be? Again, in the Kimberley, on the watch of the likes of Mr Hassel and the Liberal Party and the Liberal government in Western Australia. And not only is that an appalling statistic and an absolute tragedy for every single family involved in a suicide, it's the highest rate of suicide in the world. And what does Mr Hassel and the Liberal Party and the Barnett Liberal government do about that? Nothing, because that rate is going up and not down. But let's not stop there. Let's look at juvenile incarceration of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander kids in WA. On any night you choose to claim, one uh, in every 77 Aboriginal boys in WA will be in detention. What kind of statistic is that when those kids make up just 6 per cent of our population in Western Australia? Again, and where's Mr Hassel's resolution on that? Where's the WA Liberal Party on that? Where's the Barnett government on that? They are nowhere. They are nowhere. They allow these racist statements and these racist kind of comments to be the topic of discussion at their conference on Saturday, which the Prime Minister will attend, and which in here today, Senator Abetz absolutely failed, absolutely failed 
to back in the Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr.